Hey guys, today I want to talk to you about this thing, the redstone repeater. To craft the redstone repeater you need three stone blocks on the bottom like so, a torch either side like that and redstone dust in the middle and there you have your repeater. Now one of the main uses for the repeater is to extend the signal length of a redstone circuit. So if we just get a furnace out here and use the comparator to read that there is only one kelp in there, you will notice that the redstone line only powers one block. So if we extend this out by another one, the lamp does not get powered. However, if we take that redstone dust out and replace it with a repeater, then the line gets extended for up to 15 blocks out that way. And then you can power all of your goodies. Another fundamental difference with the redstone repeater, so if you've got redstone on the ground like this, it is actually powering that block there. So if we put the redstone lamp here, it will not get powered. But if we put it here, it is powered. Whereas with the repeater, it can actually power a block that's in front of it, which is useful in quite a few different uh, circumstances when you're building farms or contraptions. Having that block powered is actually quite uh, useful. Okay, so I've got this little fun circuit here with minecarts, which will uh, serve as an example. We'll just push the minecart along here. And you can see as it goes over the detect rail there, the repeaters light up. And this is just going to show you what is possible with the delay. So this time, minecart goes over, and it is quite delayed before it sends off another one. Right, and now with four ticks on all of them, it's a very long time until the minecart is dispensed, right? So this can be useful depending on what farm you're doing. You've got to get creative with this stuff. Um, there are a lot of different farms that use repeaters or circuits that use repeaters. Uh, so it is really sky's the limit. We all know that levers open iron doors, right? Well, not anymore. See, now you have to press the lever and put your item in so that you can walk through the door. Make sure you pick your item up on the way out too. Now, to lock the door, you've just got to put your item in and pull the lever as well. And that is thanks to locking this repeater. So what I've got going on here is a simple item sorter. If we just knock all these out, so I've got a simple item sorter. Whoa! Got a simple item sorter here. There are plenty of tutorials online for these. Impulse has the best one, uh, so I'll link that in a card right now for you. But basically, what happens is we've got our key here, which is the stripped birch wood, and some filter items. So ideally, you don't use stone. You use something that you rename, like with uh, with an anvil or something, and you can use those as your filter items because then no one will have those items. And then if you come into your base, you press that, no other block is going to get sucked up by that hopper. But if we use the stripped birch wood, oh, if I get it on there, then the door opens. And so that is actually one of the best ways to use a um, locking hopper. Now, obviously you would make it look a little bit more sophisticated than this. I've just done this to uh, sort of test and show an example of what you can do. But that is the basics of the redstone bit repeater. We've got the locking repeaters, the delay, and also down in here, going into and powering blocks and how that can help. So I hope you have enjoyed this video and got something out of it. Again, this is just very basic principles of the repeater and sky is the limit. The only limit is your creativity. So let me know in the comments below, link me to any farms that you've built, S upload your videos onto YouTube as well, and I look forward to seeing them. Let me know how you go. Until then guys, I'll see you in the next one.